Okay, as you are all well aware, okay, in coagulation tank or in the coagulation process, there are two methods uh, that they use, which is hydraulic methods and also uh, mechanical methods. So it's also the same like in flocculation, uh, flocculation process. If you have a hydraulic coagulation process, so normally it will follow with the hydraulic methods at the flocculation process. So if you have a mechanical coagulation pr uh, process, so it will normally follow with the mechanical flocculator. So this is a hydraulic flocculator whereby, uh, if you can see, there is no stirrer, no mixer or anything like that. They just have nice plywood, okay, here in the flocculation tank. So what's the purpose of having this plywood? Okay, so that the water traveling from one lane to another lane, so they will be uh, colliding, the particles will be colliding to each other because of these uh, obstacles. So eventually it will form this kind of flocks. This is what we call as flocks. Okay. So, uh, so this plywood, we call it as buffers. And the distance between buffer and buffer, we call it as a channel. And this area, okay, one set of channels, it, we call it as a compartment. Okay, we have one compartment, two compartments, and three compartments. So this is a hydraulic flocculation tank. So normally for hydraulic flocculation tank, they don't have only one flocculation tank. So they would, would have at least uh, two flocculation tank, okay? Uh, because of, let's say, if we have problems or we have, if you want to do cleaning at the flocculation tank, so they can close one flocculation tank, so the other one will be operating, okay? And that's why they cannot have only one flocculation tank. They must be at least, they must have at least two flocculation tank, okay? So that is the hydraulic flocculation tank. So I also like to, uh, there are two types of hydraulic flocculation tanks. I will go it very briefly. The first one, or the, the one that you saw just now, we call it as round the end type flocculation tank. Okay. And another type of flocculation tank, the buffer is actually from top and also from bottom. Okay. Top, bottom, top, bottom. So this one we call it as up and down type. So what are the uh, advantages and disadvantages of flocculation tank? So those are advantages and disadvantages of hydraulic flocculation tanks. So if you uh, pay attention to disadvantage and uh, uh, also that uh, the, the advantage and disadvantages, um, do you have any question on it? It is quite simple to construct and operate, like right? just putting all the buffers easily in the in the flocculation tank so that's not very difficult okay less chance of short circuiting do you know what it means no 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 no, no. yeah that's something that i'd like to hear okay right look at this diagram once the water enter from here there is no way it can bypass straight away going there it has to go from one channel to another channel until the end that's why we call it as no short circuiting. Okay? It has to go from one channel to another until the end. So, but for mechanical uh, flocculator, the chances of short circuiting may happen. So if you if you look at the diagram after this, you will see why I talk uh, why why do I say that the chances of um short short circuiting may happen. You see the benefit of not having the short circuiting. Basically, the water will be traveling uh, without fail from one channel to another, and this may increase the time. T will be bigger. We would like to have a bigger size of cam number, you remember, GT. So if they have to travel from one channel to another, it takes so long, so the T will be greater, the, the value of T will be very big. So the, the product of G and T will be high. So hopefully, they will be in the range of 12,000 to 270,000, okay? So that is uh, the purpose of, um, that is to uh, the purpose of having a bigger size of T, okay? By not having the short circuiting. And uh, these advantages is we cannot control, uh, we cannot easily adjust it because the, the buffer are quite permanent, you see? So once you have 
um, set it that way or that distance, okay? So it will stay as, as like that. But if you have a mechanical flocculator, which I will show it later, they, they have a kind of mixer like, like uh, in the uh, coagulation process. So you can always uh, change the speed. Sometimes it needs to be fast, sometimes it'll be a bit slower. So that's, what, uh, that's the advantage of the mechanical flocculator. But increase heat loss. Okay, increase heat loss means that um, heat loss is an energy. So imagining that the water traveling from one uh, channel to another channel, okay, they will have a friction between the water and also the the buffer. Okay, the the wood we call it as buffer. So that the the friction of that will cause um, loss in energy, and that's why hydraulic flocculation tank has high or uh, heat loss, okay, high in uh, energy loss, if you like. 